Great to have you with us. We are set to get you over the hump this Wednesday night with another edition of the NBA on 2K Sports. Joined by Chris Weber and Grant Hill, our reporter, Ali LaForce, this is Brian Anderson. And here we can check out the story for Zion Williamson. And the number crunchers won't be thrilled with his decrease in effective field goal percentage this month. He's made some bad selections on offense, and he needs to refocus on finding good quality looks. Before we get going here, we have time for a pregame courtside report. Ali LaForce, it's all yours. VA technology is moving faster than ever. The new thing? Collectible highlights trading online. The players are taking notice. Shooting guard CJ McCollum said, quote, a lot of players are inquiring about it. I've grown closer to the non-fungible tokens trying to figure out what moments I should buy. Guys, he's a believer. Boy, he is a big thinker, no doubt about that. Good reporting there, Alan. Well, we can expect a lot of transition buckets in this one, Chris. How much fun is it to play in matchups like this, man? Come on, man. Everybody loves a game like this. Look, as soon as the shot comes off the rim, put on your track shoes and get out of the room. A look at the starting group for the Pelicans. It's Graham and Alexander Walker at the one and the two. Ingram at the three, Zion at the four. And it's Valanchunas in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. And for Portland, the talented pair of Lillard and McCullum in the backcourt. Yusuf Nurkic is out there with Larry Nance. And it's Little in at the three. Now here's Lillard doing damage on offense. He's averaging about 29 and a half a game. Little shot is good. With the high basketball IQ of Lillard showing up. I mean, moving the ball to the open man. Graham against Lillard. Graham, the pass to Ingram. Pass to Valentunas. And that one, yeah, good. Valentunas. Just taking it right to the rim. And no good. one was there to greet him. Yeah, very little resistance. I mean, you had to bring much faster help than that. And Lillard puts up a deep three. And his first shot of the game, no good. Williamson passes to Graham. And here's Valentunas. He picked up 10 in his last game. Outside Ingram. Shot clock at six. Alan Chunas with a screen on McCollum. Unloads from 13. And the dunk by Alan Chunas. Oh, he's a sensational offensive rebound. Alan Chunas, he just has the nose for where to be when shots go up. The three, here's Lillard. Knocks down the triple. Pick works well there, but the defense left a lot to be desired. But it's a lazy effort, let's just be honest. Hoping the shooter misses, but that doesn't constitute defense. Now here's Graham, looking at his production. Close to 12 points a game. Here's Williamson, nails the 16-footer. If he can hit the mid-range consistently, Zion will be unstoppable, because you can't take everything away from him. There aren't many players that have come into the NBA as a consensus number one pick like Zion Williamson did. Nobody was passing on this fellow. He's consistent from out there, especially when you give him that kind of room. Graham against Lillard. Here's Williamson, and they double up Williamson. On the wing, Alexander Walker. Connects from downtown. In that 2019 draft, Zion was a prize that every team in the lottery was hoping to win, Grant. And that added a lot of excitement to that night. I mean, when you've got a once-in-the-generation talent like Zion, the lottery becomes a major event. Here in the first, just under two and a half minutes played so far. Graham, the pass to Valanchunas. Outside Ingram. Shoots from 12. And the Pelicans get another bucket right there. It, it seems strange seeing someone Ingram's size handling the pick and roll. But that's why he's unique. Lillard passes to McCullum. Off target from three-point range. And this is exactly who you want taking that shot. You just missed it. Here's Williamson. Pass to Valanchunas. Back to Williamson. Over Lillard. Williamson misses. Portland has gone four of six from deep to start this game. And we're approaching about three and a half minutes played in this first quarter. And it's McCullum penetrating. Rebounded by New Orleans. 
A tough loss coming against the Lakers in their last game play. Offensively, it was never their night. The issues they suffered were pretty clear. Well, it was too many empty possessions. I mean, they struggled to keep any kind of momentum going. Valanciunas can't get it to go. Portland leading. McCollum outside. Lillard against Graham. McCollum with a screen on Graham. And here's Lillard from beyond the arc. For New Orleans, they've gone five of eight. Solid opening quarter for them. Nurkic against Graham. Here's Williamson. Oh, he misses the go-ahead basket. Even when the D is playing off of him, the mid-range jumper shouldn't be the shot they're looking for. And Lillard, here we go. And the dunk by Lillard. You're so worried about Dane's range. I mean, Lillard can just speed right past him. Pass to Alexander Walker to the paint. Here's Williamson. Oh, the dunk by Williamson. Assist from one of the few guys in the league who make a lead pass like that. Oh, just a fantastic look. McCullough, the pass to Nurkic. Now here's Lillard. Beyond the arc. Again, the miss by Lillard. Here's Williamson. Oh, and the big finish by Williamson. This is what many fans came here to see. Williamson and his size, with his speed, so unique in his style. His grace is unbelievable. And that was our AT&T 5G Slam Cam, bringing you the sauce. McCullum outside, takes a three. Good. And it's Lillard who picks up the assist. Put your head down and go to work. That's what they need to do. Oh, you know what it is. One play at a time. That's got to be the mindset, especially in such a tight game. Now here's Ingram. He's coming off a 19-point game against the Lakers. So many of his points came at the line. He was trying to play him physically. And he just said, yeah, bring him. Here's Nurkic. McCullum on the wing, covered by Ingram. The Blazers getting another bucket right there. Oh. Love the sensational ball control from McCullough. He makes it look so easy. And the Pelicans call time here. By Grant, in the name of player development, if you've got a young team that's effectively out of the playoffs, do you scale back minutes for the veterans, even if they're playing well? I would think so. Obviously, if the playoffs aren't in the picture, it's giving that remaining part of the season a chance for you young players to learn what the NBA is all about. So giving them more chances to play, resting the veterans, might be the smart move. Zellers checked in for Nurkic. Chris comes in for Nance. Snell, he's checked in for Little. And Simon has subbed in for C.J. McCollum. Sadoransky outside. Clock at six. With the 10-footer. Got it. 
and they keep trading punches. Both teams in a groove early. Yeah, and this is what you love to see. Both teams going at it, working to get to their spots and cashing in. Now here's Chris. Turned in an outstanding game against Oklahoma City. Would you say testing the limits of his range there? Oh, trying to take advantage of that extra space on the perimeter. I see a lot of this now. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. It's going to go on Jackson Hayes. I like that. I mean, some physical play inside. He's not about to give up any easy baskets. Marquise. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for Portland. The three-pointer has been a major weapon for them in the early stages. I mean, they'd be smart to keep moving and working on the perimeter. Also, their passing has been terrific in the first half. They'll be happy with all those assists. First one falls for him. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. Here's Temple. Pass to Hernan Gomez. Sadaransky with it. Into the lane. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Oh, I just love seeing Sadaransky put it on the deck. Especially with a purpose. He forces a trip to the line right there. Thomas Sadaransky taking two shots. First free throw is good. But what you like about Sadaransky, I mean, he, he's really involved. His decision-making skills, the shot selection, he's, he's just become a lot more dependable over the years. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Oh, not many players with the more steady hand at the free throw line than this fellow. Pass to Snell. Lillard outside. New Orleans foul. Derek Temple. That's his first personal. Second team foul. Here's Snell. He's covered by Hart. Chris the screen. Six to shoot. Here's Simons. He can't hit that time. Some solid defense from Hayes. So far, rebounding has been a focal point for them. The basket counts, and one. He'll go to the line, a chance at a three-point play. And now, almost all their points coming from the paint. New Orleans, Josh Hart at the line for one. Falls that puts him up one point in the game now, and we all know that Hart plays superb defense. Now, the next step is becoming a more consistent offensive player. Pass to Simons, the three. Yes, great play by Lillard to set it up. Lillard's got his third assist of the night. When you talk about the grind, starting from the bottom, that's Damian Lillard coming up in East Oakland. Shooting hoops on a curl tree branch in a milk crate. Do what you can to make it work. Here's Temple. Two minutes remaining in the first. Two minutes. From outside the arc. Lillard pulls down the board. The Trailblazers have got 8 of 15 shots to go. And Dame and his older brother competed in everything. Wrestling, basketball. That's where that fire started, I think. He said he didn't care about basketball until they squeezed him on the court. After that, he was like, okay. <laughs> okay, you laughing, we'll see. That's where it all started. Wrestling is a wrap this history. Here's Temple. But no scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. 
Here's Snell. He's covered by Hart. Pass to Simons. Lillard outside. Chris the screen. It's Lillard with the drive. And the dunk by Lillard. Don't sleep on Lillard's vertical. When he's going strong to the bucket, he's capable of throw downs like these. Here's Temple. And here's Hart. 52 seconds left in the first. Back to Hernan Gomez. Out of bounds. It'll be Portland's ball. And we always like to take this chance to show you the scoring leaders from the last 10 days of action. Second, Damian Lillard. He's been on an absolute tear offensively. He's found something that's working for him, and he's sticking to it. Right side. Pass to Snell. Now here's Lillard. Chris the screen. Lillard with the ball. Hayes picks him up. Lillard can't get it to go. He's not an easy man to stop. He's attacking the basket. The D doing everything he can. Now we're on Gomez. Nine seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. Here's Sadoransky. Clock at six. Hernan Gomez sets a screen. The floater. And Sadoransky oh, finishes Sadoransky. inside. Sadoransky's got six points. Well, it's rare to see the six foot seven guy lose the floater. From that height, <laughs> no one is blocking that shot. Here's Simons. Ooh, he released it in time, That's but it's the off the mark. With the Just a big time effort for Damian Lillard, providing a lot of energy for the Portland Trailblazers. His fingerprints were all over that quarter. 13 points, leading the charge. We'll be right back with you shortly. And with his elite shooting, Lillard can work off screens and come back to the ball. Sometimes, he says, that makes things a lot easier. Getting the ball later in possessions when the defense isn't so sharp. You know, usually at the beginning of a defensive possession is get over the first screen. You know, they the energy is up, um, they're interested, and usually at about 12 seconds they're a little tired. Um, the interest goes down. Well, when you're guarding Damian Lillard, you can't let up for a second, Brad. Uh, and the Blazers generally a methodical offense. Now, they don't mind using the clock and forcing the defense to cover for all 24. And if you're just joining us, it's been a pretty even game through the first quarter. And what stands out to you from the Trailblazers in this one? Well, it's simple. I mean, they started off strong. And they've been hot from beyond the arc since the get-go. Oh, at the defense spinning in circles. Hard to cover all that ground. They've got Cody Zeller and Freddie Simons out there with Tony Snell. Then it's Robert Covington, and it's Little in at the three slot. That's the group in the game for the Trailblazers. Alexander Walker grabs the board. And even with the miss, that's a high percentage shot for him. McCollum against Graham. Portland foul, Nasir Little. That's his first personal. First team foul. Pass to Ingram. The shot is good, and this game is back to even. Yeah, yeah nice job by Ingram. We know he can score from deep, but he's showing he can do it in the paint as well. Zeller with the ball. And about a minute gone in the second quarter. McCollum's shot is off. This has been a close game in a lot of ways, but they do have an edge on the boards. Here's Valanchunas. Checking the numbers. He's averaging close to 15 a game. Ingram. Chance there to take the lead, but a miss. Now the Blazers on the move. Fires from deep. And McCollum is good for three. McCollum's got eight points. You gotta know McCollum is looking to fire off the pass. This is why he must play up. 
Pass to Alexander Walker. Williamson with it. Covered by Covington. The baseline, Jay, is on the way. Controls the rebound and the putback. Valanchunas has got his third bucket of the night. And force-feeding the ball inside. I mean, no reason to go away from what's working. Zeller with a screen on Graham. Here's Simons. Graham covering. Five on the clock. Trailblazers got to hurry. Got to get up a shot. Offensive rebound for three. Covington. The shot off that time. The Pelicans trail. Outside Ingram. Pass to Graham. Williamson left side. Over Covington. Oh, the go-ahead bucket. No good. There's a lesson for you. Don't show them. Tries to get fancy with the fadeaway. And it backfires. Here's Little. Alan Tuna's covering. And he takes the fantastic lead pass up strong for the slam. I'll tell you what. It's good to be his age. Yeah. I don't have memories like that at my age, though. <laughs> Williamson with the bucket. Give him eight. Hey, they're just getting pushed around inside. Portland has gone 7 of 15 from distance in this game. Here's Simons. He's coming off a 19-point game against Oklahoma City. He's off on that one. Nice D from Valanchunas. The Pelicans have got three of six shots to go here in the second quarter. And a little under three and a half minutes elapsed here in the second quarter. Six on the shot clock. Williamson outside. Here's Graham. Can't get the go-ahead bucket. Portland has gone one of three from three-point land here in the second quarter. Pass to Simons. Puts up a three. And the rebound goes to the Pelicans. Alan Junis has got four rebounds now. And here's Graham. Williamson passes to Ingram. On the take. Can't connect from 13 feet out. Credit to D for not giving up on that play. He's a tough cover down low. Here's Simons. Checking his stats. He's scoring around nine and a half points per game. Pass to Zeller. There's the triple. Rebounded by Ingram. Ingram's got five rebounds tonight. It's been fun watching Brandon Ingram's scoring stats climb. He's a guy who can really fill it up, whether he's inside or outside of the arc. Now here's Williamson. He had a 15-point outing in their last game against the Lakers. Here's Alexander Walker, covered by Covington. Here's Williamson. Oh, no good. Had a chance to take the lead. Portland leading. Pass to McCollum. Shot to win the cold streak. And he tries it off the glass, but it's no good. He hasn't helped the cause with his shooting, but his teammates have had his back. You know, Grant, what's really impressive about Ingram scoring is what he can do on those nights when he just goes off. <laughs> yeah, we've seen some explosive stuff from him on the offensive end from time to time. Now, when he's dialed in, he can absolutely torture you. You just wish he could perform at that level every night. Who's coming out on the court? Come on, give it up for your laser dancer.
Look who's coming out on the court. Come on, give it up for your Blazer dancer. up going with a new group. The Pelicans making a switch here. And now the 2K leaderboard will give us a glimpse of the top rebounding teams in the second half of the season. Fifth on the list, the Pelicans. Incredible rebounding numbers since the break. They've put in a lot of effort on the glass. Pass to Snell. And there's the foul. It's on Jackson Hayes. That's foul number two for him. I appreciate the aggression, but that's already his second foul. He, he's got to play it a little Checking in for the Pelicans. Sadoransky, he's checked in for the Pelicans. Here's Snell. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. To the middle. Lillard, the open look. Oh, he finds himself wide open and drills it. Capable of getting it done from anywhere. I mean, Lillard is adept at getting to his spots and finding his rhythm. And it's Sadoransky penetrating. Comes up empty down low. Portland has gone 7 for 17 from three-point range so far in this matchup. Pass to Chris. Takes a 13-footer. Pelicans cleared away. Last time they met was in New Orleans. Yeah, they destroyed this team on the glass in the last meeting. Ingram finds Hart. Now here's Hernan Gomez. Here's Sadoransky. Oh, he nails that one. Three for four now. As a Rookie of the Year award winner yourself, Grant, what do you see as the biggest challenge facing today's rookie? I honestly think with all the information and expectations, the hardest thing for young players today is meeting those expectations because of all the great rookies who've come before and gone on and had success right away. That pressure a lot of times can be a lot for a young player entering the league. Now here's Sadoransky. Give him eight points now. Erdogan Gomez gets the bucket. Right, he can fill out a lot of different roles, but Sadoransky excels as a creator. He can make the spectacular passes and the smart ones. Here's Nurkic. He picked up 15 in their last win against Oklahoma City. That's a shot they're always happy to get, even when he blows the finish. It's hard on the wing. Pass to Sadoransky. Now Ingram. Clock at four. Hayes with a screen from the high post. The shot comes out. Now Portland takes it the other way. Not the most productive quarter he'll ever have, but his shot selection's been a little bit dubious. Hart goes in. Lillard pulls down the board. Portland trailing here. On the wing, Snell launches a three. Hart pulls it in. New Orleans is shooting just 38% in this quarter. Here's Ingram. Good on the baseline, Jay. Ingram's got six. Nice touch right there for me. Ingram understands how to find holes in the defense like that. Pass to Snell. And there's a minute 45 left to play in the second quarter. And misses it off the right side of the rim. You wonder what the score would be if they weren't controlling the glass. Outside Hart. Hayes with a screen. High arcing shot. Rebounded by Nurkic. Nurkic has got four rebounds in the game. Lillard against Hart. And Lillard gets it to go. Lillard's got four points now in the quarter. Yeah, he's an effective shooter from the in-between area. Lillard knows he can take this shot whenever he wants. It's T-shirt Bonanza. Make a little noise. Your Blazer dancer.
who's coming out on the court. Come on, give it up for your laser dancer. Check in for Ingram. And we got a quick moment to take a look at the long-term rebounding numbers over several seasons for Larry Nance. It's not a great trend for him. Not rebounding nearly as effectively anymore. Maybe it's his effort, or who knows, but that's something that needs to change. New Orleans in the lead. Outside Hart. Hayes with a screen. Hart goes in. Pass to Hayes. Out to the wing. Shot clock at six. Hernan Gomez sets a screen. With the drive. He drains it as the shot clock ticks down. Hernan Gomez has got four points this quarter. Nance, the pass to Nurkic. Back to Nance. Foul on Josh Hart. That's his first foul. And yeah, he, he still was moving at the point of contact. Twenty-nine seconds left to play in the first half. Chris the screen. Five to shoot. Here's Snell. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. Pass to Temple. Over to the wing. Sadaransky right side. 14 feet away. And the first half comes to a conclusion in a game that's been very close so far. Pelicans ahead. They're up by five. Stay with us, folks. We'll be back just after halftime to get the third quarter started. Ernie Johnson here with Kenny the Jet and the Big Diesel, Shaquille O'Neal. How about we start out with the Western Conference and uh, how those teams are stacking up? Taking a look at the Pelicans, they're right where they want to be, and they're right where they should be. Now it's a matter of getting everything in place for the title run. These guys will be tough to beat in a seven-game series. And now looking at the first half performance from Zion Williamson. The energy he played with was downright incredible. I used to love games like this, Ernie, when I was getting in that groove down low. I mean, like he's taking charge, making barbecue chicken stew in the post. You gotta get a body on him. It's gonna be more of the same in the second half. Barbecue chicken stew alert! And we hope you've enjoyed the absolutely stirring intellects of Shaq and Kenny. Now it's time for the second half. Was that sarcasm, Ernie? It was, Shaq. Get him. Easy, big fella. Easy. I don't even know what stirring means. we've got second half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. What a game we're seeing from Damian Lillard. He's hit shot after shot from deep. He's so locked in right now. Oh, what a tremendous first half. Okay, obviously he's feeling the flow and he's looking to keep it going. And after a fairly even first couple of quarters, this second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams trying to gain an edge. So the Pelicans five right now. Ingram at the three, Zion at the four. It's Graham and Alexander Walker at the one and the two. And it's Valanchunas in at the five, down low. Outside Ingram. From deep. Rebounded by Nurkic. Nurkic has got rebound number five here tonight. Boy, they'd love if anyone could get a bucket. Yeah, their offense has been grinding to a halt. With the teardrop, 
In deep, Lillard drops it in. Lillard's got 19. And Lillard times these flows perfectly. He rises up with these, letting the ball roll off his fingers. Williamson finds Graham. Back to Williamson. Here's Alexander Walker. Valanchunas with a screen on McCullum. And it's Alexander Walker penetrating. Valanchunas. And Nurkic with the block. Now his coaches and teammates like this type of energy. Nurkic demonstrating that he can be an anchor on the defense. And Lillard gets it to go. Lillard. And that's just great touch. The teardrop. Well, that's all about fear. The Blazers with two elite scoring guards and Damian Lillard and CJ McCollum. I mean, for some teams, that can lead to strikes. Zion their chemistry. Williamson. That's what makes it work. <laughs> a great move. I mean, the defense has no response. You'd like to see a little more energy coming out of halftime with the defense. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. And Chris with Lillard and McCollum. They're both such gifted shooters. That helps them coexist. Yeah, B.A., they're both threats on or off the ball. They make things easier for one another, and they're both great At locker room guys. The the off the court, everybody knows. Little, and jobs. small forward Nasir Little, just one season with the Tar Heels, he was the number six recruit in the high school class of 2018. But one year later, Grant slid to the 25th pick. And B.A., he's showing signs that he probably slid too far. A long wait in the green room, but that's just one day. It's all about the work he puts in every day that will determine what he makes of his great potential. And the first one at the line is good. Both shots good from the strike. Just over one and a half minutes have passed in the third quarter. Graham, the pass to Valanchunas. And here's Ingram. Valanchunas sets a screen to the inside. That one's good on the sweet setup by Ingram. Valanchunas has got eight points. Strong pass there to set up the basket to the left side wing. Williamson against Nance. Pass to Lillard. This for the tie! And Nance hit from deep. Nance has got his first bucket of the game and he's on the board for three. But the D didn't do a good enough job on He could be an ace when he gets a good look at three. Ingram with the ball. Nance covering. And the lob disrupted. Not to be. There's McCullough with the three. And again, it's Portland with a three. But they lost their edge on D here in the second half. They're far too passive. They're not dictating the pace anymore. Here's Williamson. The kick out to Graham. Counted from distance. Hey, Graham. From Art Graham can become dangerous. I mean, he's got the accuracy to, to bury you with threes if you love him. Lillard passes to Nurkic. Rebounded by New Orleans. Valanchunas has got six rebounds now in the game. Pass to Williamson. Outside Ingram. Valanchunas sets a screen. From the top of the key. Hits the front of the rim and out. The Trailblazers have gotten four of their first five shots to go since the break. McCullough, pass to Nurkic. And the shot goes. Nurkic just got his first two points of the night. That'll get you a pat on the back from your teammate McCullough. Unselfish and aware, picking out the perfect pass. Graham finds Ingram. Picked by Williamson. Elbow shot. And that one's good. Ingram. Ingram's got eight. Pick works well there, but the defense left a lot to be desired. All right, it's a lazy effort. Let's just be honest. Hoping the shooter misses, that doesn't constitute defense. All right, look who's coming out on the court. Come on, give it up for your play reserve, Dexter.
your Blazer Dancer. Sellers checked in for Nurkic. Covington comes in for Nance. And Simon has subbed in for Lillard. The Trailblazers have got five of six shots to fall so far in the third. Pass to McCollum. Back to Simons. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. That's on Jonas Valanciunas. Second team foul. At the line for Portland. And taking two shots. And he makes a first. And so he makes both from the line. New Orleans has gone one for two from outside the arc in this third quarter. Pass to Williamson. Graham for three. The shot no good. He had more than enough room to hit that. Just couldn't make it happen. And here's Zeller. Covered by Ingram. Zeller against Ingram. Yes! And the foul! going to be on Brandon Ingram. They're finally waking up from a sluggish first half offensively. This half, they've been much more efficient from the field. All right, guys, some stats here. The scoring breakdown for Portland. If you want to see how efficient the offense is running, a great stat to look at is points off assist. And they've gotten a ton of assists throughout this game. The other thing, they continue to fill it up from three-point range, making it look easy. One thing that gives these scouts confidence in Zeller's ability to expand his shooting range is the fact that he's been a solid free throw shooter ever since he's entered this league. Here's Alexander Walker taking a look at his production, averaging just over eight points a game. Graham, the pass to Williamson. Now here's Ingram. He's covered closely. That shot off. Portland has gone two for two from deep here in the third. Pass to Simons. There's McCullough with the three. And again, it's Portland with a three. As the deep shots continue to fall, you can sense the frustration growing among these defenders. Williamson with it. He's got 12. Picked by Williamson. And he lobs it up top. Oh, what a nice defensive play to disrupt the lob. Here's Simons. Pass to McCollum. Out to Covington. From behind the arc. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Covington. We've got a moment here. Let's take a look at the shooting guards who have been most consistent from the line over the past month. C.J. McCollum on top. He's the last person you want to be sending to the line. And by the way he gets defended, you can tell most guys know that. Who wants a t-shirt? Make a little noise. Your blazer dancer.
who's coming out on the court. Come on, give it up for your laser dancer. He's checked in for Portland. Snell comes in for Little. And the Pelicans will go for a different look here. Hernan Gomez is checked in for Valanchunas. Hayes comes in for Williamson. Hart's checked in for Ingram. And it's Sadoransky in for Graham. The Pelicans trail. Here's Alexander Walker. Sadoransky outside. Pass to Hayes. Back to Alexander Walker. Hayes with a screen on McCullum. Six to shoot. The shot by Alexander Walker, no good. For Portland, they've gotten seven of their nine shots to fall. Quality shooting in the second half. Here's Simons. Baseline jumper, and the Blazers getting another bucket right there. Just continuing to pile it on, refusing to let up. We talk about killer instinct all the time. He definitely has it. He's keeping his foot on the pedal here. Here's Alexander Walker. Oh, the offensive struggles continue. Missing again. Over to the left wing. Here's Simons. He's got seven. Screen by Zeller. Oh, oh, hey, how about that? What just happened? The reverse jam. Unbelievable. All the way to the bucket. I love when guys throw it down. With a much bigger section. What's up, teacher? Your blazer dancer. Here. Nance is checked in. New Orleans has gone just one of three from deep since the break. Hernan Gomez sets a screen. Here's Alexander Walker. And he banks in the layup. Alexander, Alexander Walker's got his second bucket on the night. And despite the height disadvantage, oh my, he just attacks that interior. Yeah, very aggressive. I mean, he takes on the challenge with no hesitation. Now here's McCullum. He's got 14. Can't connect from 13 feet out. Up top, Sadoransky. McCullum defends. Here's Alexander Walker. Just five to shoot. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. That's his first personal, first team foul. Shooting for New Orleans, Nikhil Alexander Walker. 
at the line for two. Take a break, take a break. Two shots. The first one falls. That's good as he hits both shots. Portland has gone three of four from outside in the second half. Here's Simons, covered by Sadaransky. Two minutes. Pass to McCullum. It's stolen away. Sadaransky right side. Now Hayes. 141 left in the third quarter. Here's Alexander Walker. Shot clock at three. Hart from long range. Zeller with the rebound. Zeller's got six rebounds now in the game. Here's Simons. Nine points in the game. There's the three. The Pelicans pull it in. Sadaransky outside. There's 57 seconds left in the third quarter. Hayes with a screen on McCullough. On the wing, Alexander Walker. McCullum defends. And again, no good by New Orleans. Tipped away. And wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. Knocks it loose. And the Pelicans with possession here. Down low. Pass to Hernan Gomez. Hayes with it. Here's Alexander Walker. Going inside. Blocked! And that's out of bounds. New Orleans will retain possession. And now another look at that mobile one block defensive performance. Oh, amazing indeed. And getting stops like that only encourages them to keep attacking on the offensive end. Lillard's checked in for Portland. And a change for the Pelicans. Williamson's checked in. Hart from long range. Oh, drew the foul and almost hit the three-point bucket. But he'll head to the line for three. Ooh, good defensive intensity, but you have to stay in control always. Josh Hart at the line for three. He shot. Three shot. And he's good on the first of three. Good on the second one. And we've seen some good free throw shooting in the second half. He makes all three. Here's Lillard. Oh, 
Out left to the wing. And here's Simons outside. He drops it from range. Simons got nine points now in the quarter. Their strategy has been pretty simple here in the second half. Attack from three-point range. But with a hat to do these days, you need to stretch the floor somewhat to make everything else work. And so it's the Portland Trailblazers up by a healthy eight points at the end of the period. Their key to consistency has been their dominance in the paint. They've been the more physical team. We'll be back in a moment. Cody Zeller, Anthony Simons out there with Damian Lillard. Then it's Yusuf Nurkic, and it's Little in at the three. That's the group in the game for the Trailblazers. And the dunk by Lillard! Lillard goes to work in the screen and roll. This is a beautiful thing. I mean, you pretty much pick your poison with him in these sets. And for the Pelicans, they're shooting at about 44% so far. Pass to Ingram. Tries the spin move. From the elbow, that one drops for him. Brandon His Ingram. offensive skill set is off the charts. He has more than a few ways to punch. Here's Simons. Lillard outside. And again, it's the Trailblazers from the... They could have asked for much more from him today. He's been a key force in their offense. Left side Ingram. Blazers foul. Nasir Little. That's his second personal first team foul. A little over a minute of the fourth quarter gone now. Pass to Ingram. Valanchuna sets a screen. Fires from 14. Oh, and what hustle on defense from Nurkic. I mean, great at staying in place and annoying scores. The shot by Lillard. No good. Oh, strong move toward the rim. Just couldn't get it to fall. Ingram, the pass to Graham. Zeller against Williamson. And it's rejected. Registering one of the highest verticals at the NBA Combine. Zeller can send your shot back. And here's Lillard from beyond the arc. Hart pulls it in. The Pelicans have gotten just one shot to fall out of three attempts in the fourth. Pass to Williamson. Over Zeller. That's good from Williamson. On the assist from Hart. Williamson with the elite ability to finish off contact. And it's just not the strength. It's the body control. Lillard with the ball. Guarded by Valanchunas. And it's good for two. Lillard's got 28. And after a sketchy first half, they're now looking much more comfortable on the offensive end. Pass to Valanchunas. Just under two and a half minutes gone by now in the final quarter. Now here's Ingram. Guarded closely. Goes back up. Valanchunas can't get it to go. The Trailblazers have gone three of five since this fourth quarter started. And here's Simons outside. Not going to go that time. And it's New Orleans taking it the other way. Outside Hart. Outside Graham. Pass to Ingram. Now here's Graham. Not a lot of room. Four on the clock. New Orleans needs to hurry. Late clock. The three from Valanchunas. And they turn it over. Shot clock violation is the buzzer sounds. C.J. McCollum, he's checked in for Simons. Alexander Walker, he's checked in for the Pelicans. Portland has gotten one of three to fall from downtown here in the fourth. To the paint. Here's Nurkic. 
The shot won't fall. Nice D from Valentunas. He's done a lot of the little things to help put them in front. I mean, but his offense has not been there for the night. Fades and shoots. Pass to Graham. And he's going for the oop here. And Williamson throws it down. Oh, he's the perfect alley-oop partner. Zion showing the lift about his hands. Then we all know how it is. Tough break for the defense. I mean, he took the hit, but he didn't get the call. Second team foul. Williamson passes to Graham. Back to Williamson. On the wing, Alexander Walker. Pass to Graham. And denied! He sends it right off the glass. McCollum with it, and it's Graham picking him up. Nurkic a screen on Graham. McCollum, pass to Nurkic. Good on the shot. And the Trailblazers lead by 11. It's not easy trying to defend McCollum and pick and roll. He does a nice job threading the needle with when he sets. Pass to Williamson. The 15-footer. It's deflected. Now Lillard. McCollum outside. Screen by Zeller. McCollum into the lane. Good D by Williamson. And for the Pelicans, they're shooting around 30% since the fourth quarter got underway. Here's Alexander Walker. Picked by Williamson. Alexander Walker with the bucket. That's a perfect setup. Solid screen, defender can't avoid it. Opens up a clear path to the bucket. Pass to Nurkic. McCollum on the wing. Shot clock at five. Here's Little. Rebounded by New Orleans. Williamson's got six rebounds here tonight. Graham against Lillard. Now here's Valanciunas. Pass to Ingram. Back to Valanciunas. And the bucket is good. And he's now got the double-double. When you're guarding Valanciunas, you have to keep track of him in the pick and roll game. Here's timeout. The loud and craziest fans get a free t-shirt. Let's see it, fans. Your Blazer Dancer. Checked in. Time now to hear from our reporter, Allie LaForce. I had a chance to find out what the Trailblazers coach was going over with his guys. He loves the pressure deep. He told his guys, quote, we've got them on their heels. They're making mistakes. Do not let them get comfortable. 
We'll see if they can maintain their disruptive ways down the stretch. Back to you. And Allie, thank you for that. Portland leading. And here's McCullough. And here's Lillard from beyond the arc. Valanciunas with a rebound. Valanciunas has got 11 rebounds in the game. One thing they've done well tonight, and that's rebound. Pass to Williamson. Outside Ingram. Just five to shoot. Picked by Williamson. Top of the key. Up again. Great positioning on the putback. Oh, he's got a roll in this quarter. Taking it on himself to guide their offense. McCullum outside. Passed a little. Let's it go from deep. Rebounded by New Orleans. Valanciunas has got a rebound number 12 here already in the game. Graham, the pass to Ingram. It's stolen by Nance. McCullum with it. Back to Lillard. McCullum outside. Nance, the pass to Zeller. Lillard fires away from way outside. Sinks it from distance. Lillard's got 31 points. Nasir Lillard. That's his fourth personal foul. Third team foul. Seen much more of this from Zion. He didn't get it going. Such a hurry. Now a timeout called by Portland. And something fans don't always get to see some of the closely guarded secrets that happen in that huddle. Yeah, and, and sometimes it's the most subtle moves that make the biggest change. Let's see who's the loudest. All right, look who's coming out on the court. Come on, give it up for your Blazer dancers. That's the screen. McCullum, the pass to Nance. No good on the triple. For New Orleans, they've gone 7 for 15 in the fourth. Two minutes. Pass to Williamson. Two minutes. Shoots over Nance. And it's Portland with a rebound. Oh, defense, they just took that possession off. I mean, they get away with it that time. They got to show some more pressure. He buries it from three. Lillard's got 34 points. This has been their game plan here in the final period. We'll see if it continues to work out. Well, as long as they're hitting like this, how can you blame them? No, it's here. Now here's Williamson. 
Oh, a special move before that shot. They're going to work in the lane. Zion's wide frame allows him to carve out a lot of spaces. Nance with a screen on Graham. Double team on Lillard. Pass to McCullum. Lillard against Williamson. Here's Little. Off target from outside. The Pelicans trail. Now here's Ingram. Here's the three. The shot misses. He hasn't been able to find his touch this quarter. Off of this play for him so far. But you know he's going to keep working to try to turn it around. McCullum outside. Inside. And Ingram with the block. Sneaky long at six for them. Ingram with the block. Things aren't looking good here. I mean, they need points and they need a map. Yeah, uh, it's quite unlikely. But we've seen crazy things happen. Graham against Lillard. Pass to McCullum. Back to Lillard. Six on the shot clock. Yep, that one goes. Lillard's got 36 points. And he's coming off a huge performance, and his confidence couldn't be any higher. And his coach knows that, too. And that's why they're running plays for him. They're getting him the ball and letting him go to work. Up top, McCullum. So the Trail Blazers win. Even early on in this game, they appeared happy to be playing at home. And it makes a huge difference. Once they started to get into a groove, you never really felt like they wouldn't come out on top. And now we have Allie LaForce standing with the player of the game. Allie, take it away. Damien, I mean, the stat line was just outstanding for you tonight. You had it going early. How were you able to be so effective? I mean, like you said, I came out to start the game and I was aggressive. You know, looking for opportunities, getting downhill, getting to the free throw line. And I think once I came out aggressive like that, they just started to react. And, you know, I just let the defense make the plays for me. You know, I see that weak side come in, I was making the plays. And I was just trying to keep them off balance. You know, once I saw the ball going in and I had a good rhythm to the game, you know, if they help, make the right play. If they don't, be aggressive and go score. Um, and it worked for me all night long. Thanks so much, Dame. Allie, thank you as always. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Ali LaForce, Chris Weber, and Grant Hill, I'm Brian Anderson. We thank you for watching tonight's game. Now it's time to present our New Balance Player of the Game, Damian Lillard.